Working with MemoQ made one of the easiest way for a translator to start working with computer-assisted tools. Creating a project is easy, intuitive, and very friendly. On the main window, you click on Create Local Project, and on the next window, you give your, your project a name and you can select the languages both as sub-language and as general language if uh, that applies, unlike many other tools. So, for this one, we are going to choose a sub-language, United Kingdom. And on the next window, you will choose the file that you need to translate by navigating. After, you click Import, and then you click the file you need to translate, and you click Open, and then you wait. Sometimes it takes a while for a file to be processed, uh, depending on the size of the file and its layout, but you need to wait. The next step is to create a translation memory and you create or use new. The languages are already chosen. On the next window you can create a terminology page which may be very handy because you can add terms in the term base while you translate. The main window of the software gives you access to its main features, uh, such as translation uh, window and translation memory, where you can use more than one translation memory and you can also import uh, only a STMX or CSV format other translation memories. In the next window, you can choose the languages. You can verify if the languages are fine. And then you wait for the TMX to be imported. For opening the file, you can either double click on it or right click and choose Open for translation. MemoQ has this modern approach of CATs with columns and source in the left side and uh, target in the right side but also it has a very handy feature of previewing uh, your final file for most format files it's actually a um, HTML file but it is only for visualization so you can have an idea if you have a title or a picture or a table or a table of content whatever you have there, you can just check and the translation is updated in real time as you create it. Here, for instance, you can see you have a TOC, table of contents, so you, you know you need to translate them as titles. Viewing the records in the translation memory is also very easy. You can look for them, but the most important results are already listed in the right side and you can either double click on the entry that is appropriate or you can choose control and the number that is listed uh, on each entry. But what about the tags? Tags are very easy to handle in MemoQ. Of course, you can uh, copy source to target or you can uh, copy only the tag and paste it in the target, but there is another way for doing that and that is by pressing F9 and for some other type of tags by pressing F8. And here we can see the differences because this is a POC. And confirmation, as well as saving into translation memory, is done as in many other tools with Control enter MemoQ then uh, 
jumps to the next untranslated and unconfirmed segment and it automatically inserts uh, either the join a translation unit that it finds in the translation memory or an actual entry. The QA quality assurance is done simultaneously with the translation and it is shown with warnings or errors uh, right next to the segment so you know something is wrong. So here what it is wrong is of course the case And here you go. And so you go, you can see the match from the translation memory here, and the warnings, and uh, you can also see if there's a repetition. But probably the most useful feature that MemoQ has is the ability to both sort and filter uh, segments by certain criteria that you can choose. So you can choose to display only the not confirmed or all the confirmed or by status only uh, the segments that have an error or a warning or the repetitions. You can, you can choose by anything you want and also you can sort your segments not by their natural order but by an order that is more convenient for you. For instance, the match rate, the lower or higher first, and by the status.